Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sakon, and in this episode, I am going to show you guys how to barge. So, I'm going to be starting off with a lava attack, and I'm just going to skip over to when I find a good base, and that should be, and maybe, like, I don't know, take me like less than a minute. So, let's just jump right into it. Yes, Grandma. Andrea, did you put a girl downstairs? I said yes. Okay, guys, I'm not kidding. All right, guys, I found an easy win, an easy town hall right here. So I'm just gonna put my Archer Queen down in Vizier, or use or use her uh, invisibility, her cloak, whatever. And oh shoot, I gotta put my King. Oh God, I gotta end it right there. Shit. Okay, so this is oh 16 minutes on that. So, let's just go into my next raid. I'm going to be using, or I'm going to be fading without my queen, and she's going to suck a little bit. But let's just hop right into that. <sighs> okay, guys, it's raid number two, and I think I found a really good base. To be honest, this is my first, uh, my first search. And um, let's try to lure out the clan castle. So he has, yeah, he has some things in the cannon castle. So I'm gonna get them out. And I'm gonna lure them over to this corner right over here. And I'm gonna take them out. So I'm gonna start off with these guys. Okay. So all the archers are down. Now I'm gonna have one barbarian as a distraction and follow up with these. Then another barbarian. So as you guys can see, they, they just keep on going for the barbarian and that's it. And um, that's the beauty of the wizards, they're very easy to kill. If you're strategic like that. So I'm going to um, destroy these buildings in the corner. And look for some giant bombs. So people like having bases that are symmetrical, so I just need to drop like one in every corner. So they shouldn't be, in, they shouldn't be outside of the base at all. Now we can go into our main raid. So just do it just like this. Oh shit, there's a giant bomb. So I should have checked everywhere, but whatever. So you see how it's on the exact opposite side because people like being symmetrical in their bases. So always watch out for that. Now I'm going to be boosting, so I'm going to put my king down as a shield. And um, I should have this in the bag. A couple seconds and it should be done. So I'm holding my lighting spells out just in case some, something bad happens. Getting all that dark elixir, I can't even hold it anymore, but whatever. And it's, yep, there's a win. So I boosted up my king or used his ability to heal, uh, heal himself and that's it. So I go home with 100,000 gold and elixir. So I'm going to start my boost. Boosting all these like I usually do when I'm farming. And, um, okay, okay, I'm going to show my attack logs now. So I have a couple good ones. So let's see this one from uh, Steph. And um, I'm going to be attacking with Barch, obviously. So I didn't need to check for giant bombs because he has a bunch of holes in the middle of his base. So I'm expecting there to be Tezzas and giant bombs in there because that's obviously why he has the gaps. So he can put them in there. So I'm just going to go all out. Ch I checked for the clan castle already and there's nothing in there. So that means I can go all out. Also, what I like to do, especially in Masters, is if there's no king on uh, king and queen that's like really good and if the if the king and queen are like more to the middle of the base like right here there's they don't have a king and queen and also they're in the middle of the base so that's a really good sign to go to attack them and um it'll increase it uh, it'll increase your chances so if you guys actually run the video i'm not saying like not that you have to or anything but like um i like what i always do i would start off with the barbarians on the top and I'll just drag my fingers until there's half of them um, gone. And then I follow up with my archers behind them. I, and I, you know, do half of them again. And then I go and do the exact same thing at the bottom. And then I focus more on the bottom. I focus more on the right and left side. Instead of the actual bottom. Because at the very bottom, I usually put my king and queen there. So I want to have more power. Or I want to have more troops on the right and left. Rather than the bottom. Because that's where my king and queen are going to be. So you'll, you'll see me doing the same thing right here. Once again, I didn't really need to check for any bombs or anything just because there are holes inside the base. 
but on this on this base it's actually it, I should have checked because there's not too many holes but I just didn't really care all that much so now I actually split up my king and queen my king acting like a decoy and my queen is just getting extra percent because this base is a little bit weird but um or 20 percent battery but yeah once again just get the 50 percent and I'm out so if you guys just uh if you guys still think that you guys are having trouble with Barch, um, I think that my strategy is really good. I didn't, I don't really lose like really at all. Um, you'll, you're gonna see some losses here because that's I'm just like uh, what's it called dropping like right here I'm dropping. I only got seven percent did that on purpose. But um, other than that I just win like pretty much every raid like ninety percent of raids uh raids I win. So um, my strategy really it really does work. So if you uh like I said if you're having trouble just rewatch the video. And um, I, I really hope that this helps. And uh, I'm gonna be putting out more guides, maybe like uh, Go Wipes, Go Wee Wee, uh, Blooney, and all these different guides. Um, so stay tuned for that. And Sacklin sign out. So see you guys in the next uh, video. And leave a like if you enjoyed.